happiness is there everywhere but if one is searching for the happiness outside you won't get it you must search for it inside i know that somebody has a tendency not to be happy they find that they are always stressed and they have a very very short duration of happiness when the stress is relieved but they immediately seek another stress if you see generally that they have uh, more in a stressed conditions than relief they don't even go near happiness now if you want happiness that you take it from simple simple things look at a butterfly look at the colors look at the symmetry and be happy about it right you may be eating 100 varieties of food if there is one food that gives you the taste enjoy it be happy about it but sometimes it so happens that you get a food which is not very tasty right then try and enjoy that also somebody uh, told me sir there is plenty of rain in tamil nadu people are suffering yes i do understand people are suffering but is the rain is a blessing or it's a curse if you think it's a curse let us stop it but the rain is a blessing my god how it can be a blessing in spite of people suffering like this yes today i find in tamil nadu everybody is talking about rain nobody is talking about the politicians and nobody is talking about the tv serials nobody don't even have the time to go to tasmak people have no time to move here and there their family are together we see everybody is helping each other i see that uh, rain has brought a kind of a, a focus <coughs> to tamil nadu people to look into themselves and try and lead a happy life so therefore we cannot expect that everything should happen the way i want it most of the time things happen the way we do not want it and if you develop an attitude towards them to be happy and then nobody can make you unhappy we are fighting the disease we are unhappy you go and shake hand with the disease you will be happy try that even the disease will go away faster okay and i know solo one na solo one the lecture kodunga lecture pandra na ungale